Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Frances, also known as Sassy Mingo. I am a full-time reseller on YouTube and many other platforms, but today we're selling on YouTube. Today is a purse sale, a long-awaited purse sale. I have waited weeks for some of these bags to come, and I wanted to have a, you know, a good lot when I did a sale. I didn't want to have just, you know, a few, but anyway, I'm not, I don't have time to chitter-chatter. I'm going to go over order instructions real quick. If you're new here, welcome. Please, if you like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, talk, leave a comment, do something. It helps the channel. My goal is to be at a thousand followers by the end of the year. So if you don't follow, please follow, please subscribe. Um, so order instructions are very simple. You email me. My email will be in the description below. My email is zandomom at gmail.com. That's Z-A-N-D-O mom at gmail.com. Not zero, Zando mom. Easy way to remember it, my kids' names, Zach and Olivia. Okay, Z and O mom. <laughs> super, super simple. Some people try to make it complicated, but it's not. I'm not a complicated type of person. I like, I like easy stuff. So anyway, I have purses today. You email me, you email me the purse that you want. I'm not numbering purses. Um, I don't really have time for that today. <laughs> I've got everything written down with prices. Um, I tried to be a little bit more prepared because I have, I have a box full of purses. And then I have a box over here of purses that I didn't feel like made the cut because I wanted to show you the, the best of the best that I had. And then over here, if we have time, we'll get to those. Those are going to be a lot cheaper. Um, I haven't really looked those over very well, so they're going to be, you know, let's let's get them out of here. If we have time, I don't like to go over an hour. I know sometimes you have to based on how many items you have. But anyway, email me the item you want. Um, look in the top comment. The top comment will be pinned with sold and pending. If it's under the sold list, it's sold. If it's under pending, go ahead and email me because that person has not paid. We haven't finalized the transaction. They may decide they don't want it before they pay. They may not pay. I, requ I request that you pay as soon as possible. I'll give anybody 24 hours to pay. Um, and I'm moving back and forth and my camera is, is like the color is all over the place. Sorry, y'all. Um, so if it's sold, it's sold. If it's under pending, still send me an email. You may have a chance to get it. If that person, you know, decides not to get it or doesn't pay, I will give it to the next available person. I try to be as fair as I can. Shipping on purses is going to be $10 at least. Um, if you order multiple, I'm going to give you a deal. Um, so shipping is based on your address and the weight. Um, I'm trying to find the best shipping right now. I do believe UPS is offering a pretty good deal right now. So I'll probably be shipping UPS most of these if I can get a better deal. All right, y'all, we're going to get started. Um, I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, and let's, let's just sell some purses, y'all. It's the Christmas season. I got some big gold earrings on today. I was shooting some earring of the day for my Instagram. All right. The first purse we have First, I'm already messing up my talking. My first purse of the day. Look, we got some color. We got some color. This is a Ted Baker, and this is called the Cassie, the Cassie tote, K-A-C-I tote. Um, the color is called grape. Now, some of these bags I was able to find, you know, a full good description on them. Some of them I was not. So anyway, um, being that we have a lot of purses today. I'm going to um, try to point out any flaws. Again, let me just make a statement here right at the beginning while I'm showing this beautiful, this beautiful Ted Baker bag. These bags, 90% of these bags are used. We're talking a used bag. There may be a little dust in it when you get it. I try to vacuum out most, clean out most, you know, um, roll it with the lint roller. I do my best. I just don't, I, anyway, 
I just want to make that clear. You are purchasing a used bag unless I say it's new with the tag, okay? Um, I, I just want to make that disclosure. You know, a used bag is not going to be like you ordered it and it comes wrapped in the new paper and in the box and all that kind of stuff. These are used bags. They have they have been pre-loved, let's say that. There may be a little scratch or a little dent or something that I didn't, or a little rub that I didn't, you know, catch when I was, you know, going over it. So anyway, Ted Baker, this is a tote style bag. It is a shoulder bag. It does not have any clips. <clears throat> I say that. Let me look. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. It zips on the top. It has a three-four zip. You still have a little open here and a little open here. Here's your bottom. There is the only thing I noticed on this bag is there's a little, little, little sign of wear on the corners, not every corner. And then there's some little scratches on the bottom. But besides the bag, look at this. You have it. Ted Baker is in rose gold. You have this rose gold plaque right here that says Ted Baker. And this bag comes with a little extra. This bag comes with a wristlet, a zipper pouch. Isn't that great? The inside, again, is pre-loved. This is an all leather bag and I'm asking $50 for Ted Baker. The straps are in, the zipper is working. The straps are in awesome condition. You know, you got a little phrase and I'll try to cut, cut some of that off. But besides that, that's our first bag. Ted Baker, this is the back. These are the sides. I'm talking too much. I need to show more of the bag. You do have a few marks right there on the bottom, but $50 for Ted Baker. Ted Baker makes great bags. I don't, um, I don't normally find them in the wild. I was lucky to pick that one up. I thought my daughter might want it, but she didn't. Okay. <clears throat> Our next bag is this gorgeous all leather, super soft pebble leather, lucky brand, Hobo. This bag is so stinking cute. You can carry it like this. You could carry it over your shoulder. It's a hobo. It's got that boho look. It's a super soft leather. It has um, a floral pattern on the inside. I'm trying to find a lucky tag. Here is your lucky brand tag. Um, this bag again has been pre-loved. There was one little thing I noticed oh, right here where the leather and the cloth meets. There's a little, like a little fraying right there. But besides that, the leather looks great. <clears throat> she has a soft slouchy leather bag and I'm asking, I'm asking $30 for this bag. $30. Y'all, I'm pre-recording this video. I'm going to release. This is coming out on Friday. So this is Thursday and it's cloudy and cold here in South Carolina. And I'm a little off my game this morning. My lighting wasn't doing right. $30 for the Lucky Hobo. Do, um, if you're new at ordering, try your best to describe the bag. Take a screenshot. Send me a timestamp. Whatever. Because um, I do have, I may have duplicate brands. I'm not sure. I don't know. Okay. Our next bag is Dooney and Burke. This is the Dooney and Burke Essex shoulder bag. Um, everything I looked up said rare, but everything I looked up, there was, there was quite a few of these out there. Maybe not this olive green color. This is like your equestrian style. It is vintage Dooney and Burke. Um, the color is olive. It is a pebbled leather with your tan, gorgeous leather. You have this brass. This is, all right, this is how it hooks right here. I'm going to spend a little bit more time with her because she is gorgeous. I love the old Dooney and Burks. These are so nice. You have these brass feet. You have, you have six on the bottom, as you can see. Now this bag is vintage, so it has been pre-loved. 
Your leather has got the worn in look. We have one scratch right here on the side. And then your edges definitely have been pre-loved, but I think with a little bit of leather polishing, um, leather conditioner, you can, you can fix this right up. I don't have time to fix up all these bags, nor do I claim to be someone that can restore bags. I've never restored a bag and I'm not in the market to do that yet. I don't think, unless it was a bag for myself. You have this pocket on the back. The back, it, the inside of this bag is, you know, right along with the vintage Dooney. Let me get that snap back, okay? Is your your raw suede. <clears throat> inside needs a good, needs some good cleaning. I, I cleaned it out, but it's still, it's just, it's just got that rough look like Dooney is famous for, the old Dooney. Um, this is your interior. You got a zip. Where is it? You got a zip. And then you have a snap. And then you have this. Here is your Dooney tag. Dooney and Burke, made in the USA. And then you have your serial number. Your strap is, let's see, your strap is adjustable. This can be worn as a crossbody or a shoulder bag. I don't have enough room to back up, but you can see. Um, Strap is in good condition for its age. If you like a good weathered, worn in bag, this is you. Again, we have this scratch right here. It may be able, you may be able to get that out. I don't know. I'm asking 75 for the vintage Dooney and Burke. These are your sides. Again, some leather conditioner would probably fix this up right here. Great bag to add to your collection. If you collect bags, if you love Dooney and Burke, I, I mean, I just love that bag. I can't believe I'm getting rid of it, but I have too many. I have too many bags. Okay, next we have Fry. Fry in the house. I'm telling you, I got some good brands. I've been waiting I've been waiting, 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 and they finally came. So this bag <clears throat> has a shoulder strap and a top handle. The shoulder strap is removable. I'm trying to figure out. We've got this little, I didn't even notice this when I got this bag. You got this little keychain right here. This comes off, so it comes extra. You're getting an extra little, little duty here, y'all. Comes extra with the keychain. It's antique gold hardware. You got Fry and Company right here. Back here on the back, I would say you have these um, rivets, these antique gold rivets. This is the bottom. This is in very good condition. Very, very good. Nice size bag. Top zipper close, which y'all know I love. The inside is black. You have your Fry and Company label. You have a zip pocket and you have two slips. And that is this bag. This is this is one side. This is the sides. Again, this strap is removable. So you can have it. You can carry it as a hobo, as a hobo bag, or you can carry it as a shoulder bag. A longer shoulder bag. This strap right here is not adjustable. And for Fry, um, <clears throat> I'm not, this bag does not have any boo-boos that I could tell. It has, it has no signs of wear. It has no scratches. It doesn't have any corner rub. So I'm asking 55 for the Fry bag. Great, great bag. Super soft leather. If you're familiar with Fry Boots, that's that's the company, Fry. Um, 
moving right along. <clears throat> and y'all, I lose my voice when I talk. And I'm going to try something right now. Somebody told me if I put a mint in my mouth that this wouldn't happen. I don't normally like to talk with a mint in my mouth. So let's see how this goes. Because <clears throat> as you can see, I, I start losing my voice. I don't, I don't know what that's, I don't know what that's about. When I worked, I was um, a manager over a lot of people and I had to do training classes. I had to do monthly, weekly meetings in front of a lot of people. And it happened. It always happens. So I don't know. Um, <clears throat> Rebecca Minkoff is our next bag. This bag to me is a creamy beige, but then sometimes I look at her and I see a little bit of pink, but I don't know. This is called the, um, uh, Rebecca Minkoff. This is called the Darren. I guess that's how you say it. Darren. You have your, um, it's, it's a, it's not, I won't say it's gunmetal. Maybe it is gunmetal hardware. You have these grommets down the front. You have a turn lock open. The inside is raw suede. You do have a zipper pocket and one slip. You have your Rebecca Minkoff here. I don't, so on the back, on the back is where you have that. I would assume this is the front with the grommets and the turn lock. Your <clears throat> strap is adjustable. This bag is in good condition. Um, there was a few little surface marks right here, as you can see. I rubbed it a little bit, but I didn't want to rub too hard. This is your bottom. It's a, it's a pebble leather. It's very soft, as you can see. Um, it's a super soft bag. Great, great bag for shopping. Great thrifting bag. I'm 5'3 for reference. So, um, I can't remember. Did it adjust? Yes, it is adjustable. And it is set on the shortest, so it will go longer. So, for the Rebecca Minkoff, I'm going to ask $40. 40 dollars 40 for Rebecca. And again, the only thing I saw, and that is on the back of the bag, was a few, few little surface marks here. But as you can see, as I'm getting close, you can hardly see them. So I said $40 for Rebecca. All right. I didn't mention, but that fry bag, I'm looking at my notes. My fr That fry bag is called the Claude Hobo, if you want to look it up. Um, next. We have, new with the tags, I cannot believe I'm letting y'all have this bag, but I love it. I love the color. I love coastal colors. I love anything to do with the beach. I love turquoise. I love aqua. This is, this is Hobo. Hobo. Brand new with the tags. Now y'all see why I've been waiting so long for these bags to come. These are some good bags. We got some good names in the house. So this one is the Hobo. It's called the Render. The Render bag. The color is seafoam. And it is. it looks more turquoisey on screen. It's more of a green seafoam. Oh, I love Hobo leather. This bag is brand new, y'all. Brand new. The um, the each side has this buckle detail, and it's got hobo embossed on the buckles. This is the other side. I don't really have to show too much of this bag. Um, oh, so the strap is adjustable. I just realized that because you have holes all the way around. So you can adjust these to make the strap longer. Um, I'm just gonna show you the tag. This bag retailed for $288, brand new. This is your inside. You have this kind of a muted pattern. It's gray with these um, like brown and tan and cream. Um, you have some leaves. Oh, this thing might be helping. 
Um, you have your hobo. You have a zipper pocket. You have a slip, and then you have two slips on this side. It is magnetic closure. Let me step back a little bit. Magnetic closure. Y'all, this bag, this bag is gorgeous. It's a shoulder bag. It's very comfortable on too. It's a shoulder bag. Oh, I didn't show. It has a front pocket right here with a magnetic closure, and then it has a back pocket. This one doesn't have magnetic closure, so that's kind of strange. So, for the hobo, since she is brand new, I'm going to ask 125 125 for this bag. Whoever gets her is getting a gorgeous, a gorgeous piece of leather, a gorgeous purse to add to your collection. Um, I just love it. I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. I hate, I'm almost tempted if it doesn't sell, just to justify because it is the holiday season and I shouldn't be buying for myself. If this doesn't sell, I may sell one of my personal bags so I can keep this one. But I have a feeling she's going to sell, and I hope one of you get her. Okay. Next, we have guests in the house. And I thought this bag was so cute. It is faux leather. It's faux like crocodile, alligator, whatever you want to call it. It kind of gives that um, Brahmin vibe a little bit. Because, you know, Brahmin, Brahmin has a bag something like this, structured like this. It is guess. You have guess right here. All this right here, I was, I was trying my hardest. It looks like you have like these turn locks and this little thing. I was trying my hardest to open this bag, and it's just <laughs> magnetic open. This bag is in like new condition. It is your cheetah print on the inside and you can see you have a zipper pocket that works. You have your guest logo. You have sections. You have this section, you have this section, you have this section. And then this section has one, two, three slips. And in the cheetah, it has guests every now and then, which I thought was a cute little accent. You have these nice magnetic closures. This is a look at me bag. Like, like, look at me. I wouldn't consider this a shopping bag or, a, you know, it still has some of the plastic on it. So I know this bag. You have this little, um, this little charm thing right here. These are your sides. This is the bottom. There's not any sign of wear. This bag is in like new condition. Um, you have this little lock, silver hardware, little lock hanging right here. And I'm asking $20 for guests. $20 for the little guest look at me bag. <laughs> All right. Next, we have a new to me brand. Look at this classic bag. Look at these classic colors. You have tan, you have black, and you have brown. And then you have gold hardware. This bag gives me all kind of designer vibes. Like, look at this. This is a perfect, if I was still working, this would be my work purse. This would be my work purse because, oh yeah, it's big enough that I can throw my iPad in there. I can throw all my, all the things I need. Um, this is a nice bag, and the name is Zuler, Z-O-O-L-E-R. Um, these go for $135 is what I was finding. I couldn't find out too much on them. An Amazon ad was coming up. I mean, one that was coming up on Amazon, but then when I clicked on it, it says this item is no longer available. So I found one new for $135. 
um, I think it was new. I don't know. It was on some weird website. You know, sometimes Google just takes you to some weird things. But anyway, it's all leather. It's a pebbled leather. Then you have this quilted leather. Then you have your straps. This is a nice bag. You have a zipper pocket right here. Plenty big enough for a phone. This is the front. It zips close. Opens up really wide for all the necessities. Here is your Zuller label. Has a zip pocket. It's gray, silky interior, and then it has like some kind of Zuller crest. I guess that's their, their logo. And you have this section, then you have a zipper section in the middle, then you have this section with your slips. And this bag is in like new condition. It does not have any hooks for a crossbody, so it is strictly a satchel bag. And I'm asking 55 for Zuller. Let me show you the bottom. The bottom is in great condition. There's not any any corner rub or anything like that. This is this is a great bag. This bag is so classic. These colors this color combo will never, ever, ever go out of style in my book. All right. Next we have, and I don't know how to say this name, Prozetsi, Prozetsi. Every time I wear black, I, I look at my videos and I got hair hanging off of me. All right. So the next bag is, I'll spell it for you. It's P-R-A-T-E-Z-I. Prozetsi. Prezezi for Rents Croc Mini. Y'all, I'm from South Carolina, so I know I butchered that. I'm not from Italy. Um, this is your bat bottom. Now, looking at this bag, the color is a grayish purple. That's the only way I can describe it. It, in some light, it has a lot of, like, purple. And then in some light, it has a lot of gray. And then, so I'm not really sure what color this bag is, but it is gorgeous. It is all leather, croc. Here is your crest for that brand name. It is a mini bag. This is little bag. You can see little. Has gold hardware. It has a double zip, so you can... Zip it like that, or you know, you can zip it all the way to one side. However, the inside, let me get it all the way unzipped. The inside is really sweet. The inside is like this microfiber suede. I'm not sure it says, it has the name Prezzi, Prezzat, Prezzat, I don't know. Made in Italy, genuine lava. So you have, it has a lot of room for it to be a mini bag. And it's got this little mini section right here with the zipper. Um, very clean. The gold hardware is in excellent, excellent condition. There's no, you know, color loss or anything like that. Your strap is chain with the leather up at the top. This is a crossbody. Crossbody bag. This is the back. Back has a little zipper with a tiny little pocket for some lipstick, a little lipstick. <laughs> and for this bag, I'm asking $50. This bag had a high resale and this bag is in like new condition. So I'm asking, asking 50 for her. Um, next bag is simply a fashion bag. And I say fashion because it has fashion on it. It's MDD Fashion 79. It looks like a little leather, a little leather mo moto jacket. Is this not cute? This is so cute. It has gold hardware. You got these little zippers, but they're just for looks, of course. Um, you've got your collar of your jacket. This is the back. This is another like seafoam green. It is faux leather. 
it snaps close, and then you have a zipper. It opens up into this tiny little. This is this is a evening evening fun bag. You know, girls' night out, date night. Um, you know, just something big enough to throw your phone and your ID in, maybe your debit or credit card, a little bit of cash, your car key, and you are on the go. This strap is removable. You can see, top of the strap has this, and I'm asking $15 for the Fashion, the MDD Fashion 79. This is so cute. I just thought it was so unique that I, um, I wanted to have her in the show. So she made the show. Um, some of these others didn't make the show, but they might make it if we have enough time. Where are we? We're at 30 minutes. Oh my goodness. Okay. Next, we have Harley Davidson. We have Harley Dav Davidson leather shoulder bag. You have gorgeous black leather with these silver silver studs. You have your Harley Davidson label. You have this Harley Davidson leather fringe tassel with the charm, Harley Davidson silver charm. This is your handle. This bag is like in new condition, y'all. Most of these Harley Davidson bags you get, they're pretty rough because they've been riding around on a motorcycle, on the back of a motorcycle. The inside is snake pink and black and white snake print. You have this large zipper on the back with the leather zipper pull. Your regular zipper pull has the same tassel type thing. The inside is again, your pink snake skin with it says genuine leather right here. You have a zip pocket. And then you have a huge slip. There's your inside. There's your corners. There's your bottom. There's your other corner. So this bag is gorgeous. Very comfortable. It's not a big bulky bag. Um, you have a really nice shoulder drop, you know, shoulder strap drop. I'm asking 50 for, this is called the ball and chain. So I'll look these up and I'm just not telling y'all what they're called. This is called the ball and chain bag. Harley Davidson ball and chain bag in like new condition. Um, I'm seeing right now this top part right here where the zipper is needs to be wiped off, and I will do that. That's a simple, simple little wipe down. But look at this. This is gorgeous. And again, around here, I don't live far from Myrtle Beach, and Myrtle Beach is like Daytona Beach. When it comes to bikers, we have our bike, we have bike week. We actually have two or three different weeks of bike week in Myrtle Beach. And Harley Davidson is a Big, is big around here. We have quite a few Harley Davidson stores. And if you find one in the wild, <coughs> excuse me, y'all. If you find one in the wild, they are in really pre-left condition. This one is like brand new. Harley Davidson black shoulder bag, $50. All right. Our next is another weird, not weird, a name it's from it's made in Italy, so I can't tell you the name. It's Viola Castellani. Castellini Castellani. Made in Italy. It's another little evening bag, little small whatnot, date night, girls night out bag. It has gold hardware. We have a turn lock. Opens and closes. This is your side the strap, the the chain is removable, so you could wear it as a clutch. You could carry it as a clutch. You can take the strap off. You can add your own strap. It has a long chain. Um, it's this, I don't know, what is that? Some kind of leather. I can't think of the name. The inside is suede, and then the rest of it is like raw. I think this may be vintage. I'm not sure. 
you have a zipper. Oh, I zipped it closed. You have a zipper pocket in the middle. Or did I close it? No, I didn't close it. I just now closed it. There we go. All right, so there's your zipper. There's this section. There's this section. Here is your label with your name, made in Italy, genuine leather. Um, it's written in gold, and it's kind of Milano. I think it was made in Milano, Italy. I don't, anyway. This is your bottom. And you know, these kind of bags, they usually have anywhere whatsoever on it. I'm asking 25 for her. 25 for this little leather. Evening clutch, crossbody, shoulder bag, event, wedding, you name it. Thrifting, whatever you want to use it for. Bag, 25. Okay. We got another new with tags. And this is a fairly new name for me. I got a bracelet a week or two ago in a jewelry bag that was new with tags with the same name. So the name is Leather Rock. Look at this bag. Leather Rock Boho, new with tags, made in the USA, leather, southwestern, western, boho, all the vibes. All the coastal cowgirl, all the cowgirl, all the country western concerts. Well, you probably can't take this to a concert because they have to see in your bag. You have, you have the leather here, the soft, soft leather, soft, buttery, buttery, soft leather. You have this southwestern fabric, and then you have buttery, soft leather. Your handles, your straps have all this detail. Your back is just plain, all leather. Your bottom, again, this is new with tags, so this was never, never used. You have a little leather rock charm, antique gold hardware, this is your tag. Somebody scratched out the price. It's got your style number and all that on it. Then the top zips with a little fringe pull. The inside is gold, silky gold. You have a zip pocket. You do not have slips in this bag. You have a zip pocket. And then you have your leather rocks made in the USA. For this bag, I did look up comps. And for my subscribers today, I'm going to offer this for $75. $75 for this brand new, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Like, $75. Brand new with tags. I love her. Very, it's a very big bag. It's a nice size bag, too. All right. We are now turning the page, y'all. I hope y'all like what I've got so far. It's taken me forever to get these bags for this sale. Um, I think I've gotten them all. Except last night I ordered some more. <laughs> So we'll have more, you know, it's just a process. You got to keep ordering inventory to have inventory, right? Um, let's see, what's next? Sorry, y'all, I just had to take a minute. Okay, next we have another Southwestern boho style bag. This is Justin. And if anybody's familiar with cowboy boots, Justin makes a cowboy boot. So this is a Justin purse. Um, it has this lace inlay right here. Look at this. You have this conch, conco thing right here. I don't know what you call it. You have grom, you have studs. You have this braided leather tassel boat like thing on the side with silver tassels on the bottom. That's on both sides. Um, 
the back is all brown and then both of these unzip and this is like one pocket um let me zip those back so you do have a pocket a zip pocket on the back the front doesn't have any additional pockets um i want to disclose that this bag has some wear right here and right here you see that this and this has rubbed on something somewhere along its life and has rubbed the leather the bottom has a few spots on it. You do have your feet. You have some studs right here. Some of these studs are like rhinestones, y'all. Um, the handles have been pre-loved. This bag has been loved, y'all. Definitely been loved. But sometimes to me that makes it makes it even better. It has a zipper zipper top and to be honest it took me a minute to notice these two corners right here because it got so much going on it almost is like okay that's supposed to be that way um the interior is a cloth it's um says right here made and produced by traditions tra tra traditions llc whatever, whatever. Um, Y'all, I'm beginning to wonder, is this leather? I don't think this bag is leather. I don't think this bag is leather. Now that I'm looking at it, I don't know. Here's the inside is very clean. The outsides had more love than the inside. So you have Justin right here. You have a zipper. I'm beginning to think, is this leather? I think part, I don't know, y'all. This is definitely leather. But leather, to me, wouldn't do like that. I don't know. So, you know what? I had this bag down for 40. I'm going to mark it to 25. I don't know. I'm see, you know, I mean, that's, that's just part of it, y'all. I'm not going to sell you something at a higher price that, you know, once I'm looking over it again, I don't think leather would do that. Would leather do that? This right here is like a little, little scallop. So that in this, in this camera, that almost looks like that's peeling, but it's not. It's just this little scallop thing right here folded over. I don't, I don't know. It's your lucky day if you like this bag because I'm going to offer her for 25. I'm not sure if she's real leather or not. Justin makes a good boot, right? I mean, I'm not a I'm not a cowgirl. I like the western look and I, you know, I I rock it every now and then. But I mean, I've sold some Justin boots before that were very, very high dollar boots. This is a Justin purse, lace inlay, either leather or faux leather. I don't know. The back to me is definitely leather. I don't know about this front. $25. $25. All right. This next bag is so cute, y'all. I've never seen anything like it. Look at this. Look at this little wristlet. It is leather. Now, this is leather. It's brand new with the tags. It went for $65. And it's called Catfish. It says Catfish Leather on the inside. Never heard of that. I couldn't find anything on it. Now, when I Google searched it, of course, lots of things like this came up. But nothing that said Catfish Leather, nothing exactly like it. So, we have this silver metal handle. Okay. And then you have this tan color leather. Then you have this aqua embossed leather, and then you have these rose gold studs. Is this unique or what? It's all leather, and I'm asking $30 for her. She is new with the tags. She zips. Her opening is not that big, but if you're somebody that likes unique, 
that likes different, like how cute would that be hanging on? You know, you could put your phone, your keys, all your necessities in here, and there you have it. There you have it. Very cute concept, I think. Very cute. Oh, y'all, the sun's out now. Yay! Maybe my lighting won't be so crazy. Earlier, I was trying to record, and it was like all the colors of the bags just weren't happening. All right, $30 for the catfish bag wristlet. All right, we got another Western style bag, and then I think we're done with the Western. This is something. Look at this. This is an all leather vintage. You know what I would call this? The lady with the alligator purse. Remember that? Call the doctor and the doctor called the lady with the alligator purse. If y'all are young on here, you don't have a clue probably what I'm talking about. But anyway, so this bag, the I could find one or two when I Googled it. it all it said was vintage, 80s. Um, Southwestern, Western, where did I, I wrote it down. I just wrote vintage alligator purse down. It is, it, it needs to be some sh shaped up, but you have every kind of everything on the front. You have like this embossed, you have croc, you have cheetah, you have brown croc, you have black, you have zebra, you know, you just, and then you have this big buckle and all these gold studs look at this this needs to be in a museum somewhere this is just so so my mama back in the day she wasn't really western i would say but i mean just yeah wow look at this y'all you go to an event or a party with this and everybody's gonna be like what in the world where can i get that bag and you're gonna say you can't because I thrifted it. <laughs> I love saying that. So the inside is every color, every pattern in the world, as you can see. The inside is immaculate. And y'all, this is some tough leather. You have this section with a zipper pocket. Zipper works. You have the middle section, zipper. And then you have this section with some slips. So... Here's your bottom. I'm not seeing any corner wear. All right, y'all, my mint wore off, and I feel like I did better with the mint in my mouth. So we will see what happens. I have some more. So it has that magnetic snap close, the alligator purse, the straps are very thick and like new condition. And I'm going to, I'm asking, what am I asking? I'm asking 45 for the alligator purse. How cute. The back is a little bit different from the front. You don't have, you don't have these calf hairs. These are calf hair. These are leather. This is calf hair and this is calf hair. And then on the back, you don't have those. You just have all of that. What a fun bag. 45 for the alligator purse. All right, I think we're done with the Southwestern, y'all. Next, we have a Kenner, K-E-N-A-R, Kenner, Kenner. Kenner is how I say it. And you have this boho satchel. You have this braided, like, detail on the front. You have a braided strap. You have silver hardware. You have a zipper pocket on each side that is fairly big. You have a zipper pocket on this side. Tan inside. The back, you have a zipper pocket. Whoop. It's hard to show some of these purses, y'all, but y'all get it. It's... Um, it's a slouchy bag, so it doesn't have any corner rub or anything like this. It is an all leather. Hold it up so y'all can see her. She has a zip closure. Yeah. 
There's your name. You have a zip pocket and you have two slips on the other side. It's gonna be hard to show her inside because of, okay. And for the Kenner Hobo braided strap bag, I'm asking $30. And this is all leather. This is an all leather bag. She doesn't have any marks on her. Gorgeous, gorgeous, $30, $30. All right, next we have Tiganello. And I think I said it right for the first time. We have a black pebble leather, brown, black and brown, silver hardware, just a classic style flap over. It does snap Tiganello bag. That's in great condition. I'm seeing a little, little bit right here. See, it shows up more on the camera. That's the thing about it. If you, if you know, you know, it shows up more on the camera than it does. I don't know if that can be wiped off or not. And maybe that's why I priced it as I did. The bottom, I'm not seeing a tiny bit of corner rub but no color loss yet. Very soft pebble leather. You have a zipper on the back. The interior is black. You have this little Tiganello charm. This is adjustable by a few on both sides. Anybody else do purse shows your arm gets tired? Whew. We have a zipper pocket and we have slips on the inside. The interior is black. Cute bag. And I'm asking 25 for her. 25 for the Tiganello, all leather, black, brown leather bag. Um, the strap is in excellent condition. Okay. Oh, uh, what do we have next? Ooh, we have another lucky. We have another lucky brand. We are at 52 minutes. We have another lucky brand. This bag is, all I can say is lucky brand fringe bag. Look at this piece. This is another Southwestern. Sorry, y'all. I, I don't know how I ended up with all these Southwestern. We have a lucky brand charm. I thought this was so neat. You have the four leaf clover and then you have like the cutout of the four leaf clover. This is a blue bag. I know it's probably looking black. It has fringe on the bottom. It is a hobo style. You have this crossbody strap that they have it doubled up, but it goes long. This is adjustable and it will go very long. It is also removable. So I guess you could put like a guitar strap on it or whatever. This is the front of the bag with a zipper. You have your lucky brand branding right there. Up close. This is your back of the bag. So boho, so 70s vibe. So cute, so cute, I love this bag. And it's like a dust, I would say a dusty blue. Um, I don't know if dusty blue is the name. But anyway, this is the interior. The interior is beige, it's very clean. Um, here's your Lucky Brand tag. It has a zipper pocket on the inside. It has slips. This is your bottom. These kind of bags don't normally sit, so you don't see, you know, you don't get that bottom rub. These bags hang, has a full zipper on the top. Come on. It's so slouchy, it doesn't want to zip there. Strap, let me show y'all the strap. Strap is in great condition. 
and it's blue. I know it looks black, but it is a dusty blue. And for this, wow, I'm only asking $35. $35 for this bag. $35, it's an all leather bag. $35 for the Lucky Brand Fringe Bag. Okay, next we have, we're getting close to the bottom, y'all. We have sack. We have the sack in the house. And this is a leather grayish taupey color bag. Um, we got some more braiding and fringe going on, y'all. I'm sorry. I guess that's the theme of the day, mostly. Um, you've got this little braid right here. And then this fringe. This is an all leather bag. Sack, you know, sacks known for their, their like crochet bags. This is your classic sack interior. You have two, you have three sections. You have two open sections, and then you have the zipper section in the middle. Um, there's your sack branding. It is magnetic closure, so it doesn't zip all the way. It's just magnetic. And then your straps are silver chain and leather, and some more leather detail up here. This is the bottom. We got some frays I can cut off, <laughs> as you can see. This is the bottom and the edges. It's in really good condition. So for the sack leather bag, I'm asking $25. $25. Y'all, and the prices, I know y'all might think, your, your prices are all over the place for leather bags. It all depends on what I had to pay for it. So, that that kind of determines the price, you know? Um, so, um, what do we have left? What do we have left? Okay, our next bag... Oh, is a hobo style bag. It is a army green faux leather. So anybody that's not a leather fan, this is a faux leather. But I'm telling you, it had me so convinced it was leather. There is no name brand on this bag. You have this huge pocket on the front. You have a snap closure. We'll get on the inside. And then you have this big wide strap. This is the back. This is the bottom and the corners. This bag is in like new condition. I don't think it was ever worn. The inside is raw, like you're suede, but I guess since this is not leather, it's microfiber or whatever. There is no pockets, no zipper, no flap, no slides. The only thing on the inside that I thought was kind of cool is you have these on both sides. You have these little snaps. So you could, you know, put your keychain in there so your keys are easy to find. Again, that's on both sides. Thought that was a cute little detail. Again, this no name, I'm just gonna call this the Olive Green Hobo. I'm asking $12. $12. Now we're getting down to her some lower price bags, $12 for this bag. This bag is cute. Yeah, I like this. Um, next we have, this is another no name brand bag. This is a red, this little thing is very, has a lot going on for it because not only can you carry it like this, also has a top handle and it's a backpack with adjustable handles. It is a red pebbled faux leather from what I can tell. There's no tags on the inside. There is nothing, you know, so I'm having to go with faux. It is in new condition. Like how great for the holidays, you know, if you're going on that shopping adventure, and you need something you can put on your back, you could probably, yeah, 
So all this adjust, so you can make this a crossbody. See, all of this is attached. Yeah, all of this is attached. So these are all adjustable. You can make this a crossbody. It has this flap, but then it also zips close. So if it's on your back, you know, you don't have to worry about somebody easily getting in your bag. This is the inside. It has three sections. It has a zipper section in the middle. It has this section with a zipper pouch. And then you have slips. I'm asking $18 for this bag. This bag also, I don't know if I told you, I keep forgetting y'all ain't, y'all not, not seeing everything. So it zips and then it also snaps on the sides. $18 for the red backpack. How cute. How cute. Okay, now we have another no name hobo faux leather bag. This is a black, this is a big satchel. This is a big bag. This is a bag that I would take and I would, when I'm shopping, I would just put, you know, once I paid for the items, I would just put my little bags in here. This is big. This is nice. It fits, it fits very comfortably on your shoulder. And if you've watched me for any time, you know that bags do not stay on my shoulder. This bag stays on my shoulder. I should probably keep it, but I'm not. It is a faux leather. You have a snap closure right here. I was looking to see if there was a name on this, but it just says patent pending. So the inside is raw. See what I'm saying? Like microfiber. Um, I just saw a tag and I didn't think this had a tag. Yeah, it's polyurethane made in China. So no name brand, but a very nice bag. Hobo style. Lots and lots of room. I'm asking $12 for this one as well. The handle has a little knot detail. Maybe that's what helps it stay on my shoulder so much. The bottom. Y'all, these the green bag and this bag are in new condition. $12. Y'all, we're almost done. And we are over an hour. I wanted to do some of the other bags. I might do those real quick and do some because they're like $10 bags. All right. So next we have Gap, an all leather suede and black patent Gap tote bag. I didn't know Gap made leather, but this is leather. This is a suede. Um, this is a suede silver hardware. <clears throat> Beautiful floral interior. It's the Gap. This is your bottom. It's really, it's, it's in really good condition, but you know suede, it's gonna get all the dust on it. So this I'm asking $25. The handles are also suede. It's in like new condition, except for the hair and the fuzz. $25 for the Gap Tote, 25. Again, <clears throat> If it's not new with tags, here we go. If it's not new with tags, it's used and there may be some flaws that I did not find, but they're not major. So the last bag I had scheduled is this sling bag. And it is Masi, 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 Ma, I don't know what it is. Anyway, it's in like new condition. It has all the things a sling bag has. You can change the side of the sling from this side to this side. You have mesh pockets on the side. You have a zip on the front. This thing is new. It zips down. You have an open pocket here. You have another zipper pocket. This thing is like new. I'm asking $8 for the sling bag. $8. M-O-S-I-S-O. Eight dollars. It is gray. It's like a gunmetal gray. Um, these bags are really popular. I just, they're not for me. I don't know how to wear them. <laughs> I don't know how to, I don't know how to sling. Is that how, I don't know. I, I, I just, I can't ever figure them out. So anyway, eight dollars for this. All right, we're going to go 
Let me just grab, I'm gonna grab three more bags. How about that? I'm gonna grab three more bags. And these are gonna be $10 bags. This is a very artsy, acid-washed, denim, put those right there, denim hobo style, fringy. You got these acrylic fringes on the front, zipper on the back. This is your strap. It does have a brand. It's called Metal metal accessories and then something else i don't know um the inside is a little bit dusty but i'll i'll roll it out it's just a hippie style the back has a zipper it's denim it's acid washed you got these patches on the front and this i'm asking ten dollars for the denim bag ten dollars this is another backpack this is darcy marks london it is embossed faux leather embossed down the sides it has these fringes right here snap closure it zips the, this is in new condition the interior there's your darcy marks london the interior's beige you have a zip you have slips again it zips closed these are bags that i just didn't have time to look up I figured we'd be at an hour by now, way over an hour, but I just want to throw in a few. The rest will come on another sale. This is the back and the straps. $10 for the Darcy Marks. And then this little guy is going to be $5. I thought this was so cute. It is faux, but it's this patchwork little crossbody. It's like new without tags has this black strap. Well, the strap black or blue. It's got so many colors going on. So patchwork crossbody, $5. Has this flap on the front, but it's not a, a pocket. You ha do have a pocket on the back. How cute, $5 for the patchwork crossbody. <sighs> Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for being here. Um, I know it's been a long video. If you saw something you have to have, shoot me an email. I will get you invoiced. We'll get it shipped out and the bag will be yours. I hope you had, I, I hope I had enough bags to make it worthwhile you watching this long video. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And, um, if you have any questions or anything, just shoot me a comment below or send me an email. But if you want to order, send an email. Don't put it in the comments. Y'all have a great day and a great weekend. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye now.